All right, we're going to solve these four equations. x plus 3 equals 11, the first one. So we want to isolate x, and it says x plus 3. So if we subtract 3 from this left-hand side, we'll just have x on that side, but whatever you do on the left side, you also need to do on the right side. So I'm going to write it like this using the up and down approach. So I have x plus 0, which is okay to just write as x, and 11 minus 3 equals 8. So the solution is x equals 8. Let's go on to the next one. Feel free to put the video on pause and try any of these on your own. All right, for the next one, we have x minus 3 equals 11. So I want to undo this minus 3. So if I add 3 to both sides, then I'll have x plus 0. That's the idea. We want to isolate x. And we have to do the same thing to both sides. I always write what I'm doing on both sides of the equation, even though I can do it in my head. And so this will give you x plus 0, which I could write as x, and 11 plus 3 is 14. All right, next one. x plus 10 equals 4. All right, so we want to subtract 10 from both sides to isolate the x. And so on the left-hand side, we'll just have x, because x plus 10 minus 10 is just x. And we have to do 4 minus 10. So you can think of that as 4 plus negative 10, or 4 minus 10, and you should get negative 6. And last one, we have x minus 10 equals 1. So we can add 10 to both sides so that we have just the x isolated on the left-hand side. And that'll give us x equals 11. All right, now we can check each of these. Let's go ahead and check it. What that means is if we just write down the original equation, x plus 3 equals 11. I like to do it this way. There's a lot of ways to show this check. We want to see that if we replace x with 8, in other words, you put in 8 for x, and we simplify what's on the left, 8 plus 3 is 11. Is that the same thing that's on the other side? And it is. So that means, indeed, 8 was the correct solution. A formal way of writing the solution is putting it in braces. So that's another way to write the solution. All right, let's do it on all of these. For the next one, we just write the original equation, x minus 3 equals 11. And I just underline the whole thing. And I break this down. This is because we don't want to add or subtract anything to both sides. We just want to simplify both sides by plugging the solution in for x. So since x is 14 here, we plug it in. So we have 14 minus 3. That's 11, and I see on the right-hand side it's also 11. So that means the 14 is the correct solution. So formal way of writing it is like this. All right, next one. We have x plus 10 equals 4. Again, underline it. Underline, I mean, draw the little t underneath the equal sign. And I want to make sure that negative 6, when I plug it in for x, makes this equation original equation true. Negative 6 plus 10, what's that equal? It equals 4. And on the right-hand side, I have a 4. So that indeed is the correct solution. So what did I plug in? Plug in? I plugged in negative 6. So formal way of writing it is negative 6. And the last one, if I write the equation, underline it, make a little t. When I plug in 11, for x, because that's what it says the solution is. 11 minus 10 is 1, and on the right-hand side, I have 1. So what's my solution? My solution isn't 1. My solution is what I plugged in for x. All right? So x equals 11. So that's these are the formal ways of writing the solution. Another way is to just, you know, say there's the answer to each equation. You could just put a box around it depending how formal you want to be. And there you go. All right, here's four for you to try. So put the video on pause and try these on your own. All right, hope you're back. All right, let's do these now. So we have x plus 7 equals negative 3. So let's go ahead and to 
get x isolated, we'll subtract 7 from both sides. And that way on the left we have x equals negative 10. You could check it later. All right, next one, x minus 7 equals negative 9. So to isolate that, we'll add 7 to both sides. So that'll give us x equals negative 2. Third one, all right, well this is a little different. The x is on the right side of the equation. We do the same thing. We want to isolate this x. So we want to add 9 to both sides. So we have x by itself. And notice we write 13 equals x. Well, if 13 equals x, we can just write x equals 13, and that's usually how we'll write it. You could have also solved this this way. So if you like having the variable on the left-hand side, you can just take and switch what goes on the left side and which goes on the right side, so we can write x minus 9 equals 4 first, and then go ahead and do this problem. So let's do it this way. If we add 9 to both sides, we'll isolate x, and we still get x equals 13. All right, so same thing on this last one. How about we do it that way? We'll switch and put x plus 5 equals negative 8, and then to isolate x, we'll subtract 5 from both sides. And what's that give us? That gives us x equals, well, that's a negative 8 plus negative 5, negative 13. And then all of these can be checked the way we did on the previous four problems. Let's just check this last one. So we'll just check this last one. I'll leave the rest for you. So we have negative 8 equals x plus 5. And well, on the left side, all we have is the number is negative 8. There's nothing to plug in for x. But on the right-hand side, we're going to plug in negative 13 in place of x. And now we're just going to do this arithmetic. Negative 13 plus 5 is negative 8. So both sides are negative 8. So I did get a true equation when I plugged in negative 13 for x. And so do you remember the formal way to write that solution? Would be like this. So when you solve an equation, you don't know it's correct really until you uh, check it. And then that's why we usually write this in, using the solution braces. It means that we checked it and we're sure that is the solution. So on all of these, if we had checked them all, this hopefully will be the solution here. This one should be the solution here. And this will be the solution here. So this is just a formal way using uh, braces to write your answers. All right, hope you learned something.